Imagine standing in the heart of Brussels, on a square adorned with intricate gold details, surrounded by magnificent 17th century buildings. Welcome to the Grand Place. This isn't just any square, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site that breathes history and culture. As you marvel at the stunning Gothic and Baroque architecture, imagine the stories these buildings could tell, each one a silent witness to the city's vibrant past. The Grand Place isn't just a feast for the eyes, either. It's a hub of activity and life, where the daily flower market brings a splash of color and the biannual flower carpet event transforms the cobblestone square into a vibrant tapestry. Whether you're admiring the grandeur of the town hall or simply soaking in the atmosphere, you'll find that the Grand Place is much more than a tourist attraction. It's the beating heart of Brussels. A trip to Belgium without experiencing the grandeur of the Grand Place is like having a sandwich without the filling. It's just not complete. Next, transport yourself to a fairy tale as we navigate the canals of the charming city of Bruges. Picture this. A cityscape dominated by medieval architecture, cobblestone streets that echo tales of yesteryears, and dreamy canals that weave through the city like veins, breathing life into it. Speaking of breathtaking, let's not forget the Belfry of Bruges. This iconic bell tower stands as a testament to the city's history, reaching skywards with a quiet dignity that commands respect. Inside, a steep climb of 366 steps rewards you with panoramic views that are nothing short of a visual feast. As you ascend, the melody of the 47 bell carillon fills the air, each note telling a story of the city's past. With its enchanting canals and historic belfry, Bruges is a real-life storybook waiting to be explored. So, let's turn the page and continue our journey through Belgium's hidden gems. Now we journey through time to the battlefields of Flanders, a poignant reminder of the First World War. This serene landscape, once scarred by conflict, now stands as a silent testament to the thousands who fought and fell here. The Flanders fields are etched in history, their significance reaching far beyond the borders of Belgium. Every evening, beneath the arches of the Menin Gate, the last post-ceremony takes place. This moving tribute, performed by local buglers, echoes the gratitude and respect of a nation honoring the fallen. Across the region, stone memorials and cemeteries dot the countryside, each a poignant reminder of the lives lost during the Great War. The battlefields of Flanders aren't just a destination, they're a journey into the past. Each visit is a chance to reflect on the human cost of conflict and the enduring hope for peace. A visit to the Flanders Fields offers a powerful and heart-rending experience, a tribute to the past and a message of peace for the future. From the solemn to the sparkling, we now find ourselves in the radiant heart of Antwerp's Diamond District. This isn't just a hub of jewelry shops and precious stones, it's a dazzling universe where more than 80% of the world's rough diamonds pass through, earning Antwerp the title of the world's diamond capital. As we delve deeper into this glittering district, we encounter a bustling trade that is as vibrant as the gems themselves. With over a thousand diamond cutters and merchants, the district is a hive of activity, a testament to the city's centuries-old love affair with these sparkling stones. In the midst of this dazzling spectacle lies the Diamond Museum, a treasure trove that tells the captivating story of diamonds, from their geological formation to their cultural significance. Here you can marvel at the craftsmanship, the artistry, and the sheer brilliance that goes into transforming a piece of rough stone into a sparkling masterpiece. Walking around, you can't help but notice the multicultural atmosphere of the district. With traders from over 70 different nations, the Diamond District is not just a place of commerce, but a melting pot of cultures, languages, and traditions. And of course, the district is home to some of the most stunning jewelry shops you'll ever see, where exquisite pieces of art are created and showcased, each one a testament to the beauty that human hands can craft from nature's bounty. Whether you're a jewelry enthusiast or simply appreciate the finer things in life, Antwerp's Diamond District is a sparkling gem you can't afford to miss. Finally, escape to the great outdoors as we venture into the verdant rolling hills of the Ardennes. This region is a tapestry of dense forests, deep valleys, and winding rivers that create an idyllic natural wonderland. The Ardennes is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts, offering a plethora of activities that bring you closer to its unspoiled beauty. 
Imagine embarking on a hiking journey through lush trails, with leaves crunching underfoot and the fresh scent of pine filling the air. Or perhaps you'd prefer the thrill of kayaking down a river, the water's cool spray on your face as you navigate the gentle rapids. But the Ardennes is not just about the wilderness. It's dotted with charming villages that seem as though they've been lifted straight out of a fairy tale. These hamlets are replete with cobblestone streets, quaint houses, and friendly locales who warmly welcome visitors. History buffs will be delighted by the numerous castles that pepper the landscape. These historic fortresses, some dating back to medieval times, often perch atop hills, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Wildlife in the Ardennes is abundant with deer and wild boar often spotted in the forests. The sight of these creatures in their natural habitat is a testament to the region's commitment to conservation and respect for nature. Offering a refreshing change of pace, the Ardennes is the perfect place to reconnect with nature and experience the tranquil side of Belgium.